In today's video, I'm going to confess to you on behalf of the PPC agency industry. I'm going to show you the problem with most PPC agencies out there and how you can avoid it. Hey, I'm Daryl from Big Flare. I've been in the agency industry for 16 years. I've worked in agencies large and small. I've helped friends build their agencies and I've run my own one for almost a decade now. I've also been a client to other agencies, so I've seen both sides of the coin. In all this time, I've seen a problem that comes up when hiring a PPC agency. The problem is so widespread that it affects more than 95% of agencies, in my estimation. And it's costing businesses like yours an untold fortune in poor results. Today, I'm going to pull back the curtain and show you the problem. I'll teach you how to spot it and how to avoid the agencies that suffer from it. You'll learn how to find one of those 5% of agencies that are different that are going to get you the results you need. If you like my video or channel, please drop me a like, comment and subscribe. I'm dedicated to educating businesses like yours in getting stellar results with PPC. So if that resonates with you, please smash that like button right now. So without further ado, let me first tell you what the problem actually is with most PPC agencies. I'm sure many of you can remember a situation like this. You spoke to a head honcho at a PPC agency and you got a great feeling about their passion, skills and expertise. Maybe you were speaking to the founder of the agency or one of their top people like their team director or chief of staff. You hired them right away, full of excitement at having this super guru pro running your PPC accounts. And then you met the person who would actually be running your account. Turns out that person had much less skill and experience than the person you initially spoke to, and they were constantly unavailable. It seemed like they were constantly frazzled, overworked, and too busy to give you the time and attention you needed. And then, lo and behold, you got poor results. No surprises there. That is the problem that most businesses like yours encounter when hiring a PPC agency. The reason this happens is because most PPC agencies only care about growth and money at all costs, with much less care going into actually servicing the long-standing clients that loyally stood by them. When an agency owner prioritizes their own growth above their clients, it means they invest in sales and marketing to get more clients, and then they hand those clients off to the cheapest possible person they could find, often a recent graduate fresh out of university. And they end up loading each of their account managers with as many clients as they can handle, to keep their costs down. Unfortunately, this means a lot of agencies have less experienced people running more accounts than they can comfortably handle. And this is why your agency account manager seems constantly unavailable. This is why when you ask them deeper questions about strategy, they can't answer because either they aren't available or they don't know the answer. Another problem is when there's a mismatch between the size of your business and the size of the agency's other clients. When you hire a fancy famous agency for your small business, you probably expect stellar results and service. After all, the famous, they must have a good service, right? Wrong. Those famous fancy agencies probably do have a great service and get great results for their top clients. And their top clients could be spending millions of dollars per month on ads. And then you come in, let's say you're spending 10K per month on Google ads, and the agency also has another client that spends a million per month? Which client do you think they're gonna care about more? And which client is going to get palmed off to the overworked grad who has 20 other clients? Exactly. If you're a small business who is considering hiring a big famous agency, I hope you can see now why that might not be the best idea. I was kind of annoyed at all of this when I started Big Flare, so I started Big Flare as a sort of un-agency. I'd seen a gap in the market for an agency that truly cared more about their own clients' results than their own, and I sought to fill it. So when I made Big Flare, I endeavored to never hire an account manager with less than five years experience. All my team have above five years, and actually most of them are closer to 10 plus years experience level. This means that everyone on the team understands the deeper business strategy, why we do what we do, and how that fits into your bigger picture. I also set a limit on how many clients each account manager can have. We aim for a maximum of five clients per account manager. And actually our current number is just three clients per account manager. This means that every client gets tons of care and attention. Another thing for me is that I'm not hectically chasing money and growth the way a lot of other agency owners are. I run the agency as a 100% remote company and I moved to Thailand to keep my costs down. Because of this, I already hit my income goal years ago. I don't actually want or need more money at this point and instead, my focus is on creating an awesome team and an exclusive list of super, super happy clients. 
I feel good when my clients are happy and that is why I do what I do. Baked into our culture a core value that we call care like it's yours. What this means is that everyone here is expected to treat every single dollar of client ad spend as if it's coming out of their own pocket. I only hire people who get this core value and then I train them on it even more. What I teach them is this, clients wouldn't waste their own money on crappy account management practices, so you won't either. We're successful when our clients are, so care about your client accounts like they are your own. Finally, Big Flare is a small, close-knit team of less than 10 people. I don't want us to be a huge agency where we lose that family vibe. Everyone has a personal relationship with each other and with our clients, and that's the way I'm keeping it. Okay, so I've told you the problem now, and I've told you there are agencies out there that do not suffer from it. Big Flare is not the only one. I've met other people in my industry who are also running un-agencies just like mine. So how do you know when you found one? Okay, so what you want to do is get on a call or meeting with them and ask them these questions. How many clients do you have? What is the average ad spend of your current clients? How many account managers do you have? What are your goals for the agency? These four questions will tell you what you need to know. Take the number of clients they have and divide that by the number of account managers. Anything above 10 is a red flag. An account manager cannot effectively handle this number, so you want to look for agencies where the answer is less than 10. For the average spend of their clients, compare that to your own spend. If your own spend is much smaller or larger than their average, that's another red flag. If you're much smaller, you may end up getting very little care and attention. Equally, if you're much larger, this can be a problem too. It can also be a good thing as you are likely to get the most care. However, if your agency does not have experience handling big accounts like yours, you may get poor results. So if you are going to be their biggest client, ask them about their history. Ask if they've handled accounts this size before. Some agencies will have plenty of experience handling large accounts, and just through happenstance, they don't have one right now. Other agencies will never have handled a big account before, and if that's the case, be careful. Finally, in asking about their goals, you want to see that their vision and yours are aligned. If their goal is to grow as fast as they can, then be warned, as usually the path most agencies take to do this is to invest in lots of sales and marketing, and then cut costs on the actual service itself by hiring cheap, inexperienced people. There we have it, everyone. My little confession on behalf of my industry. If you are hiring a PPC agency, then remember my four key questions. Make sure to ask these questions in a live setting, a phone or a meeting, so you can gauge their body language and or voice as they answer. Emails or written text is no good for those questions. It's got to be live and in person. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe below. I'd love to grow this YouTube channel and help more businesses like yours to get better results with PPC. That's why I release videos regularly. So if you like my videos and mission, please consider helping out with a like, comment and subscribe. Okay, folks, until next time, always be testing. Most businesses like yours encounter when hiring a pants agency. A pants agency? Whoa, hang on a sec. Ask the... F Sorry. Did you know it was time? Okay.